Vusuru Upra Trickster and Tricksetters from the second YouTube channel. Today, I'm a bit sick, but, you know, coaching job cannot stop. We have another tier 3 sub vod review at our hands right here, and we have a cipher on ascent in a gold 3 elo. I think this is the second cipher vod review that I'm doing. I'm not really a master at playing cipher. I mean, I, I know almost every single setup and stuff, but, you know, my utility user is a bit scuffed and, you know, I play him in a bit more unconventional way. But we will try to help our guy, PvK, as best as we can. So, first thing, let's see what he has wrote for us. Hello, since our first two to three sessions, I haven't been able to play much up, up until this month due to travel, holidays, etc. I saw that because, you know, you didn't improve that much, but now it's time to grind. Come on, let's do the training. Let's apply all of the tips, rules, strategies. Let's abuse my anal cavity, 24-7 lifetime support, all of that good stuff. But finally, back to playing in NA, and this act has been pretty bad for me so far. This match is before I started following, but okay, I mean, if you didn't play that much, and you just came back, it is normal. You know, it, 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 it'll take you, like, maybe one month to actually get back at your peak form, and to actually, like, uh, you know, get back into the grind and get back into the game. This match is before I started following the training routine you gave me, but I switch, I did switch to 0.41 cents, and it is far more comfortable than the lower one, 0.3, but still nowhere as comfortable as my 0.35. However, I'm gonna try to be on this for all of the April while doing the training routine. Uh, stick to the sensitivity changes that I've shared with you, because the main goal is to make your main sensitivity feel better. You know? S stick to the training, Stick to the sensitivity rules and changes, and once you come back to your main sensitivity, 0 0.35, trust me, it's gonna feel like uh, 10 to 20% better, which is good enough, trust me. Now, I'm also feeling a lot. Uh, mistake number one, don't feel in a gold and platinum elo. Are you crazy? And I'm gonna stop doing that now unless I cannot dodge. But listen, like, I, I firmly believe... Like, based on all of my experience, based on every single grind that I did, based on every coaching session that I had, team compositions don't matter. As long as you keep your mentality up, focus on the game, and you keep your team's morale up. You can win a match with five duelists, you can lose a match against five duelists. Only around the, like, Immortal 3 Radiant Elo is where team compositions actually matter more, <clears throat> essentially. But nah, in this lower elo lobby, it's like... You know. Trust me, you can win every game. It is much better if five players are playing their main agents instead of f five players playing, like, some alternative picks everyone is feeling and no one is playing what they are comfortable with. Trust me. As for this VOD, I'm finding Ascent to be one of my worst maps. It used to be one of my best maps when I was a Killjoy main. But Killjoy is definitely better than, than Cypher on Ascent. And I would definitely advise you to play Killjoy on, on Ascent. Like, uh, she just, you know, ultimate is, uh, you know, it's just a meta pick and uh, he can do some stuff that Cypher cannot do on that map. Very good at gathering the information for the team. So, like, uh, I don't know, man. I, I would just play Killjoy if you're not comfortable on Cypher on this map. I, I don't know why you're forcing yourself to play Cypher on Ascent. I really feel like my impact on defense was really low, and I couldn't figure out what to do throughout the second half. Also, at the end, the lobby got a bit racist, xenophobic, so I hope that is not a problem. All good. I'm Indian Sukuri so jokes... But here, it went a bit overboard. While I usually don't really let it affect me, it did tilt me a bit at, at the end, which is something that messed up a bit of my gameplay towards the last few rounds, and I even wrote GG in all chat. Listen, like, when you're playing ranked matchmaking in any competitive game, like, if people are being toxic, or they don't want to play, they want to troll, you cannot change your teammates. Like those type of players. I look at I look at them like they are the NPC bots implemented in my ELO just to test my mental health. Like these type of things should never affect you. Mute them, report them, 
play your own game. Like, it is impossible to change one person in years. You cannot change a player in 30 minutes. If someone is toxic, racist, xenophobic, let the authorities, the riot authorities, deal with that player. And that's it. We were up 10-4 and, and couldn't win. Even three final rounds on defense. Okay. Also, this tech, I'm dying a lot and my KD is abysmal. 0 0.89 right now. Actually, most techs I'm low on KD, lol. I think it is because I'm not playing Kildra as much as I used to. I'm doing better after switching to 0 0.1 since though because I felt too slow on 0 0.3. I haven't played the placements on my main account because I want to first get used to 0 0.1 and so I'm kind of afraid since I'm doing so bad on my alt. Main peaked Platinum 3, if you remember, from our first tracker review, lol, but right now I'm barely keeping up in goal 3, so I don't want to risk playing placements on main. Okay, I'm putting the tracker for my alt instead of main, since my main hasn't even been touched this episode, so this tracker is more relevant to my current act performance, as well as this VOD, since I was on this account in this VOD. Okay, I mean, your KD is definitely abysmal. Like, uh... You can probably do something better. To be honest, you know, one thing that you said... One thing that you said is that you... Sorry guys, it's like one million degrees in my room, like I'm barely staying focused. Uh, you said that you didn't really play that much. You know, like trust the process, man. Like, like uh, do the training that I shared with you, complete the full aim training routine, complete the full cycle, is gonna get better. And if it doesn't get better, We'll figure out something else. I don't know why you're maining the Cypher and Killjoy so much. Didn't we talk about something else? I need to check it like in the in the private messages. But there's no way I, I recommended you to play only Cypher and Killjoy. What the fuck, bro? Let me just see uh, the private notes. But there's no way I recommended the guy to main a Cypher and Killjoy in gold and platinum elo. No, no, no way. What we talked about? We said... Just a second. We said Chamber, Jet, Phoenix, Omen as main characters, and you're playing Cypher and Killjoy. Bro, grab yourself by your cojones, go into these games, and carry these idiots. Like, what's the problem? I mean, Cypher is good. Cypher is an S-tier agent, uh, not bad. But personally, I would never play Cypher before the Ascendant 1 ELO. Single, same goes for the Killjoy. Like, they're way too uh, team-reliant agents. They don't have a lot of self-sustainability and versatility. You're baked if you play those two characters in, in Gold and Platinum ELO. Like, keep them for, you know... Ascendant 1. After Ascendant 1, you can make them as much as you want. It's, it's okay. But let's focus on the Chamber, Jet, Phoenix, Omen. We talked about these characters. No, like, uh, here I can see that we did uh, our first vote review was on Chamber, Chamber. Then we did uh, Omen. Then we did, like, I don't know what is this, Phoenix. Chamber, like, like what the fuck, bro? Am I living in a parallel universe? <clears throat> Omen and Phoenix is what we talked about. Uh, is what I'm supposed to do, but they locked the duelist and claw, so I failed. People locking claws right now so much. Bro. Like... Uh, yo, 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 I, uh, sorry, sorry, I need to mute the music, I'm gonna get copyright later. Silence TV, thank you all for the 10 gifted subs, man, I would yell right now. But my voice is dying. Thank you a lot, man. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, man. Muchas gracias. Now, uh, insta lock. Insta lock. Fuck it. Full confidence, man. Valorant is the game. Number one tip Valorant is the game of mentality, of good mentality, and confidence. You cannot go into your matches in, in gold and platinum elo. Oh, I'm just gonna feel, you know, these guys are gonna do their job. Bro, in gold and platinum elo, 
you, 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 you don't know with who the fuck you're playing. Literally. It might be some guy that plays one game of Valorant per day. He doesn't give a fuck. One, one, one game of Valorant per, I don't know, week. Then you have the players that, uh, that like, uh, got, are boosted, that bought the accounts. Uh, then you have the smurfs, like, against you, like, like, bro, like, <clears throat> when you're feeling in this elo, you are against all of the odds. Like, you need to solo carry, you need to develop that carry mentality, and uh, you need to take the control of the rounds and matches in your own hands. Like, you should not main 20 agents, you know, two main characters, two alternative picks, that's it. But, you know, we talked about it in our coaching, like, why, why are you disregarding my tips? Now, uh, also this time, well, okay, we talked about that. Update, 8th of April. I will be honest, I need to follow the aim routine and customs routine more, since my minimap awareness and aim are still awful. And I haven't been doing that, but I will try to consistently do it in April and May. Okay, do it during the April and May, and then in April we can have another tier 3 sub VOD review, because you have like two more VOD reviews to do. Like in April, in April we can do one VOD review, in June we can do one VOD review. Let's see what type of a progress you're going to make by insta-locking your main characters, getting into this carry mentality, and actually like uh, performing some kind of a training. Because this can definitely get much better. Like, this is abysmal, man. Like, uh, uh, you know, <coughs> abysmal performance everywhere. Hashtag percentage is nice. Like, your raw mechanical skill for this elo seems good. It's okay. It, it's, it's not bad. Definitely. Uh, but KST, terrible. Damage per round, terrible. KD, terrible. We can pick better fights. Fight better. Fight smarter, but... You know, a Cypher and a Killjoy, there's not that much things that you can do. Like, look at here. Even though... Even though, like... You know... But also, another problem is like... Uh, what the fuck is this, man? My guy is playing Izo, Sage, Chamber, Sky, Claw, Viper, Killjoy, Yoru... Chill, man. Chill, chill. You know... Focus on Chamber, Omen, Killjoy and Phoenix. And that's it. Look at your win rate with Phoenix. Yes, statistics are not really the best ever, but 52% win rate. 53%. Look at the Killjoy. 40% win rate, 5 matches, but a very, very good performance. Then, Chamber, I mean... Whatever, like, you just played two matches, I, I, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Omen. Like, listen. In order to master Omen, you need to spend at least 300 to 500 hours with this agent. But once you master the Omen, like, every other agent in the game is like, you know, who gives a fuck? Like, literally, Omen is one of the hardest agents to be properly mastered. But once you master the omen, every other character is like, what? Whatever, like, I put a trip here, put a cage here, aha, I can use cages for the aggressive place as well, ba 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 I play Phoenix, aha, I can use a wall like this, uh, create a pathing, maybe mimic some kind of a jet to execute, you know, like, stop filling, stop playing so many different characters, lock in four agents, done. We talked about it. We talked about it. Everything else we, we, we already covered during our coaching and, and there's nothing really to to talk about here. You, you know what you need to do, you're just, you know, you went on a vacation, you need to do the training, you're slacking. Come on, do the job, man. I, I really feel that if you do the training that I've shared with you, if you focus on only playing four agents, building a rank playbook for four characters, putting in the hours, putting in the work, your Ascendant 1 until 1st of July, 1st of August or July. Like, what the fuck is this? Come on, man. No, 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 no. Disappointment. Disappointment. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, 
Uh, let's let's uh, take a look at the vote. To be honest, let's let's dive into the vote. Let's actually t let's take a look at the chat. I I, I didn't. Uh, did I close the chat right now? Am I that fucking stupid? How do I open the chat now? What the fuck, bro? Uh, wait. I'm stupid. Maybe, maybe chat is somewhere here. Hidden? No? Aha! There it is. Hashtag percentage is so high. Uh, Hashtag percentage doesn't mean anything. Like, uh, you don't always want to go for the head. You don't always want to go for the body. It really depends. I mean, his Hashtag percentage for his ELO is amazing. But Hashtag percentage doesn't equal the kills. And Chad disappeared like my dad. <laughs> okay, bro. <clears throat> In low elos, the problem with jet is that we know that 80 to 90 percent of times the install jet will bottom frag. So why don't you become why don't you become an insta lock jet carry? Huh? What's the problem? To be honest, like it, with jet, even if you have a bad controller, if you have five duelists, you can still carry. Habaman says, I hope everyone realizes headshot percentage is only about uh, the hits you hit the enemy with. It doesn't count uh, the hits you missed and hit walls, the ground or the sky. Yeah, exactly. Which four did he want him to focus on? But I, I, th I think, you know, I did a coaching with PvK and we did a coaching on Omen. Omen, Chamber, Phoenix and Jet. But he doesn't need to main these agents. Like, he can just stick to the Omen, Chamber, Phoenix, and uh, and Killjoy. Because Jet doesn't really suit his playstyle, you know. Even though Jet is good for your improvement and for carry, etc, etc. Jet is really not made for everyone. I truly believe that Omen is the age, is, is a universal character made for every playstyle. Uh, he definitely, you know, and his Phoenix is also good on Ascent and, and maps like that. I, I, I... I I'm, I I don't know why why the guy is playing a cipher on 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 this map when we actually did a vote review on Omen as far as I remember with Omen on ascent Pfft, brother like uh, easy easy carry man easy carry rank playbook on a Discord server done man okay let's see what he's doing uh so <clears throat> let me mute this a bit first round of ascent. So listen, first round of Ascent, uh, on Asc Ascent is a fast rotation map. Uh, A set is your number one priority. Uh, mid is your number two priority. B set is number three priority. Essentially, um, how do you decide what to do in the first round of Ascent? How many Sentinels enemies have? If enemies have zero Sentinels, so they don't have this guy, they don't have uh, this guy, they don't have... Uh, Where's the sage? They don't have this guy, this guy, I mean girls, whatever. Uh, so zero. Bam. Five men push onto A site. Three rounds in a row. Creating an unpredictable pattern of pushing. And then in the fourth round, we're faking A site, going B. Doesn't matter how the rounds go, literally. If enemies have one sentinel, absolutely same shit. If enemies have two sentinels, then what we need to do, we need to split the map. So we should either do a 2-3 split onto the A site, or 1-4 split onto the B site. Spike is going here, Spike is going here, and you're going here, and you're going here, supporting your teammates uh, <clears throat> have a man uh, good luck man good night so in this specific wad enemies have one sentinel easy push onto the a site and with a cypher what i would buy in the first round of ascent classic light shield one tripwire two cages and a camera we put a tripwire 
for the flank and lurk we can just do it here to be honest and then we just push the site together with our teammates we're using the camera for the aggression with our allies to scout the enemies on the site and we can create a pathing with a cages to enter the site together with our teammates let's see what he does enemies also have the ko and fade so what we need to do hey my stupid teammates hey you splendid people of valorant can we dodge the ko knife the fade reveal and push the a site because one of the most common plays that you will see on ascent is obviously like an early ko knife for the information and an early fade reveal for the informazione so basically like uh, that is the comment that i would give immediately and then we're pushing a but they have a one way hold on uh i think that trip is like jumpable i mean the trip needs to look like this it seems to be right here yeah, this trip can... There's no way enemies can jump it. Exactly on this line. Give me a corpse. Don't. Instant Never mistake! Hold on. Hold on. Ah, it is there, I don't know. Like. It. <laughs> okay, listen. Like, if you have this one-way smoke, and we need to push onto the A side, what do we do? We do a cage here, to let our teammates cross like a normal human beings and then what we can <laughs> fucking custom server and then what we can do we do a cage jump 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 do this ba 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 pressure the enemies back ba 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 help the teammates out fuck this camera this camera doesn't do anything it's gonna get instantly destroyed it is much better if you're doing what i've showcased right now because this Soba, I don't know what, only God knows what this Soba is going to do. When, if he's going to, like, go through this one way and just die like a potato. Like, listen. In Valorant, when you're playing in these low elo and medium elo lobbies, like, from Iron 1 to Immortal 2. Uh, you need to, like, you need to think about yourself, about the enemies, and about your teammates as well. A lot of times when I'm playing in these, uh, you know, low elo and medium elo lobbies, my focus is not only on what I should do, what enemies are doing, and how to counter them, but also, like, how can I prevent any fucking death of my teammates, and how can I use my teammates for an easy refresh potential. Like here, you, you don't know if your teammates are gonna, how the fuck they're gonna cross this smoke. You know? Protect them. Protect them. Protect... Them. Like, basically... In Valorant, you need to babysit your allies. Like, it, it is really hard to do that as an average player. To notice all of these mistakes. But that is why, you know, you should self what review yourself. That is why, when I'm coaching the players, I always give them a lifetime 24-7 support. We need to cover as many different scenarios as possible. So you understand how to adapt to different scenarios and to recognize how to adapt to them actually to recognize your win potentials and to also recognize you know what's fucking you up Watching this spot. Here. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fuck the camera push with them no 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 listen i'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna be i'm not, i'm done with this photo review already i don't want to do it Wait, what, what the fuck bro we talked about this like like how is it possible that your reina is here and you're here watching the camera. St stop. You know, Pornhub ruining your gray mass in the brain. Like, like, testosterone levels getting lower. Brother, you use the camera. You clear this angle. You pick up the camera, reset it, because it's only going to be 15 seconds. And you are going in, making sure that you can refrag this Reina at any moment of time like in a game of valorant the number one rule that you want to follow number one rule when it comes to team play in ranked environment you want to 
you always want to support and play with your most aggressive teammate that has the highest chances of dying. The only times, the only time when you don't want to support that teammate is if he is doing something that is not useful for your team. And if you have some other better win conditions. Like, uh, brother, Reyna is pushing the choke point. She's gonna die alone. What the fuck are we doing? 30, 30. No, no, you, 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 you need it. You need it. You should have been there. You, you should have been there with Arena clearing the vines and getting that refrag. And getting that kill, to be honest. I mean, like, if I was playing this round, okay, we did this camera or whatever. Ah, no one is here. Let's pick it up. We think one guy is vines. No problem. Let's use a cage. Pick up the ghost of that guy. Push the site. Give me a corpse. He's out. Respect. Respect the aggression of the Burlux. <laughs> okay, listen. Uh, whenever you like, this is a very important tip. Like. Rotation here is okay, but right now it is much better if you apply the 20 seconds rule. Cutting the noise. Much better, much better. But before we talk about this rule, let's talk about uh, uh, the smokes to cross. Whenever you're doing some kind of a smoke to cross a specific area of the map, Never cross immediately. Like, the most natural and on by default play of most players in Valorant is they see a smoke, they're gonna like... Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Like, this smoke lasts for around, like, 7 seconds, I think. I'm not sure, like, 7, 8, I, I don't know, maybe lower, 7, 6. Uh, wait a bit. Wait for the spam. Wait for them to waste some bullets, and then cross. Maybe you can cross without making a footstep. You know? Like, if they start spamming here, they're gonna start spamming like this. And they're gonna move like this. So, if you just wait for like two or three seconds, you can just cross this, and maybe they're not even gonna hit you. Like, why are, why are you forced to cross immediately if nothing else is fucking you up? You will see, whenever, whenever I play some kind of a smoke to cross a segment or an area of the map, I wait a bit. Two or three seconds to see if there's gonna be any spam, any random shots, and then I go on the opposite part of the smoke. Now, 20 seconds rule. Uh, 80, around 70% of times in Valorant, it's better to follow 20 seconds rule rather than doing some kind of a rotation. So basically, uh, when your push gets stopped, on the attacker side, like this, so our push now got delayed onto the A side, there's three of us alive here, uh, I would actually follow the 20 seconds rule. So what is this rule? Essentially in a game of Valorant, what you want to really st try to stay away from are the unnecessary over rotations. Like the more you rotate on the attacker side, the higher are the chances that enemies are gonna fuck you up somehow. Or maybe your teammates are gonna make some kind of a mistake and you're not gonna be able to refrag them. So whenever you do some kind of a rotation, only God knows what type of a distance your teammates are gonna keep between each other. Are they gonna clear 
all of the angles properly and what type of utility you're going to have on the opposite part of the map. Here, we're not certain how many enemies rotated to the A site. Even if all enemies rotated on A site, it's okay. We can cut it. We have plenty of time. We have one minute to close this round. It, it, it was one minute. So, what is much better, especially for the first round, let's cut the noise for 20 seconds and let's rehit the same bomb site. What happens after 20 seconds? Uh, main trait of development players in ranked environment is players are undisciplined. Players are making the place based on their feeling and not based on the factors and information. So, uh, after when you cut the noise for 20 seconds at the choke point here, what is happening? We're keeping all of our teammates in check. Like, there is three of us here. There is no way that your teammates can die without you refragging them. So, all of our teammates are able to play the proper refrag game. Second thing that happens is, like, uh, <clears throat> enemies might be undisciplined. Maybe the enemy, one enemy that is playing on A site is going to be like, Oh, are they still in the A main area of the map? You're playing crossfire here. Bam. Deleting the killjoy. Now it's three versus three. Or maybe you made the numbers advantage. Or maybe that was the only guy that is left on the A side. Because what also happens after 20 seconds is enemies are maybe going to rotate back to their original positions. They're going to be like, okay, enemies are not coming out. You know. Uh, maybe they're rotating back to B. Also, even if there's... So there's... We are 4 versus 3. Right now. Even if there's 3 enemies on the A site. At least we are fighting together. And there, there is no way that 4 enemies are gonna be on A. No way. One enemy is maybe gonna be behind us. And 3 enemies on A site. So what? It's better... Than allowing that one enemy... From behind to fuck us up from some off angles. To pick some crazy timing on your teammates and just destroy you. Also... What happens after 20 seconds is players heavily lose the focus when they're holding the angles. Like when players are holding the angles for 20 seconds, bro. They don't, people, you know who plays Valorant? People that are watching TikTok 24-7. Like their attention span is of a, I don't know, of a toddler, basically. Like... Only 1% of the players have the focus to hold an angle for 20 seconds. Like, you will definitely, 70 to 80% of times, catch the enemies off guard and take an easy kill. Like, there's no reason for this rotation right now. Rotations are good when they are part of some kind of a plan. I don't know, if, if you really think there's like four... If you know that four enemies or three enemies are on A site, and they're all on A site, sure. Rotate on B, let's try to take B set, but, I mean, enemies have the full killjoy setup on B set right now, and they're just gonna get fucked, basically. Uh, rotations are good if, uh, if you really know that one guy is behind you, maybe we can go, you know, punish that enemy, you know, re regain the map control, and then group up and do something together. But doing this blind rotations for no, especially in the first round, like, very risky, man, very risky. Now, God help us. Mark it. And not only that, you're not rotating with your teammates. I mean, whatever you do right now on the A site, it's not gonna matter at all if your teammates die on mid. Like, in the first round, I would, I will try my best to play with my teammates as much as possible. We have only 45 seconds. If your teammates lose the spike on mid, the round is over. It is GG, well played, cool, cool tigers. Yo, Cypher, wake up, run the other side, buddy. No need to be that aggressive, but he has a point. KJ's market? Yeah. I don't know, man. This is, this is, I don't know. Way too much of a gamble. Sova now cannot cross into the B side because Killjoy has the full setup for B. We are absolutely cucked, man. 
30 seconds left. Spike down, B. Goodbye. One more, one more server. One enemy remaining. That's what marks okay. it. Okay. Listen. This should not have worked. This worked only because enemies are stupid. And they're not paying attention on the minimap and everything. But the round is still not over. We can still lose the round. Because we don't have time. It's only 10 seconds. We need to find this kill as soon as possible. Like, it's almost impossible to win this round right now. Killjoy needs to make so many mistakes. Enemy Killjoy. For, for, for her to lose this round. Like, <clears throat> this type of place. You know, th these lurks, uh, flanks, that type of shit. You should try to implement in your gameplay once you notice that you can actually implement them. Like, if, if team play is not working, if uh, enemies have some kind of a gap that you can abuse, that is when you should lurk, flank, try to backstab the enemies. Like, this was too much of a gamble for the first round. And I still think that we have a, we're probably going to lose this round. I don't know. There's a turret. Do do it! God help us. Ten seconds left. Oof. You won this round only because enemies are mentally have have a mental deficiency. Like you, that is another thing that you need to realize when you're doing the VOD reviews and when you're self-analyzing your place. Like a play that worked doesn't mean that that play is a good play. Like I always emphasize to every single player that I coach, like you should review both the rounds that you win and the rounds that you lose. The matches that you win and the matches that you lose. Like this is a suboptimal bad play for the first round. And it only worked because of a mental and IQ deficiency of the enemy players. Nothing else. You didn't do anything special, anything good. Everything was mega giga fucking risky. Like this will work like 10% of the times. I will see you Uh, can we buy... Ah, uh -huh, okay, so we're doing a trip. As I said, like, uh, generally speaking, uh, <coughs> generally speaking, like, uh, on Ascent, the best pattern of pushing is pushing the A site uh, three rounds in a row. If enemies have zero sentinels or one sentinel. Uh, and then in the fourth round, we are faking A going B. Uh, pushing B site on this map is a bit cancerous. It's a very narrow choke point uh, that is spammable. And it is really hard to uh, regain the map control if uh, enemies push you back from the B main. Enemies can fuck you up in so many different ways. But if you are not able to push onto the A site, it's a bit easier to regain the map control from the A site to, to B. And this is a good game decision. Look, 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 look at these guys. He's... He's playing a ghost? He's playing a ghost in a second round without a shield. How am I hard stuck in platinum and gold? Proper economy management. You win the first round in a second round. Heavy shield, good fucking weapon to win that round and to play a bonus and utility. You didn't win the first round just to be on the same level as the enemies in a second round. Are you stupid? Listen, man, fuck, fuck this camera. Just just use a cage, cross this one-way smoke, and that's it. And and use a camera to push the enemies from uh, from A main, maybe. Like, I don't know. Like, enemies are just gonna destroy it. Like, uh, don't let your teammates peek this angle at all. Like, just do this and... ba 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 Push the enemies back, and that's it. Earlier you said that you don't eat before games. How long do you wait after a meal to play? Apologies, events, if you like this kind of questions during reviews. No, it's okay. Uh, I mean, this is not something that... Like, you can, basically, people don't realize that uh, your performance 
is not only impacted by your in-game like performance, but also what you do in real life. Like how much you sleep, what you eat, how well do you take care of your body, mind, mental health, etc, etc. Like you cannot perform in Valorant if you're underperforming <coughs> in real life. It is impossible, basically. So, sorry, just a second. So, what I realized, you know, throughout the years of playing video games, I realized that food really makes me underperform. I'm feeling sluggish. I'm raging more. I'm tilting more. And I found out that I, I personally play the best when I'm uh, fasting, essentially. Like, basically, there needs to be at least, like, two hours between my meal and the first game that I play in any video game. Otherwise, I'm gonna underperform. Like, yesterday, for example, I was eating fish, like, fish is low-calorie, and then, you know, I was eating a tuna, and that shit is low-calorie, like, uh, I mean, it's not low-calorie, but uh, it's a fucking protein and, and fat, and car carbohydrates make me, like, like, I'll... I don't know, man. I, I turn into a fucking uh, Nico uh, avocado, Nico Cado, whatever the fuck his name is. Like, uh, uh, but th th you know, you need to find out w when do you perform the best. Like, track uh, at which time of the day you play the best. Uh, track what you're eating and stuff like that. Obviously. You know, this is not same for every player, like some players are just built different, you know? Like you need to find out when you play the best and when you perform the best, you know? Can we follow our most aggressive teammate? You have a tripwire for the back. I don't have double satchel, I don't have double satchel. One that camera is good. Whenever you go, I'll, I'll smoke. Yeah, right, Let's go. Follow the teammates. Follow the teammates. Listen. <clears throat> Another tip. When you're playing Cypher, you're not only a Sentinel. You're also a controller, Sentinel, potentially even a duelist. Why? Because of the fucking smokes. If your teammates are pushing on the bomb set like this. Like we quite we, we don't have a smoke for the <coughs> for the um doors, rotating doors. Uh not rotating like the sorry guys like I'm 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 a, I'm a bit sick. Apologies. Like <coughs> we didn't have a smoke for that. But okay, our claw did the smoke set the last boxes, boxes. minute. Whenever you go I'll, I'll smoke. Yeah, all right. Do, do, do. Here, we saw one enemy at the back side. Like, it's totally fine if you use your smokes to cover the angles for yourself and your team, like this, and then enter. Like, a lot of times, like, when I'm pushing into the bomb sites, when, when my teammates don't have a smokes for the cross, I just do this, enter with them, do this, you know, give them some kind of a smoke for anything, to be honest, like, uh, to have some kind of a cover. Like, you will see, when, when I played the Sunset, the last game that I played, a lot of times when I was pushing, when we were pushing the the B site, and my teammates were stuck here, I gave them this smoke, instantly, to cover them from the back side, to take the front side control and then push back. <clears throat> when my teammates were pushing the back, and we, we could have died here in the cross, I did this smoke here, to cover the cross and push in. Like, you are also a smoker. Create easier time for yourself and your teammates to fight the enemies. By the way, good camera. They are... Love it. All good. <clears throat> that is hit. Map awareness, zero points. One guy is backside, bro. Like, where, where are we aiming? Just Vox. Reloading. Bro, no, no. knife them. Uh, this is the absolutely worst position 
where you can find yourself when your teammates are planting the spike or in the post plant. I, I will I never play at uh, the switch. Like switch is a cancer position. Everything else is better. This is better. Playing here is better. Playing under is better. Playing here is better. Even playing this shit is better, to be honest. Switch th that fucking sentence. Like, get out of here as soon as possible, don't play that angle. Especially not with a Bulldog against the enemies that are playing an eco by round. If I have a Bulldog, what is our main mindset? Our main mindset is, I want to fight the enemies in a long-range gunfight and abuse the triple-shot potential of a Bulldog. Especially if the enemies are eco and they have only a classic pistols. So why would I play at a switch and give them a triple-shot Headshot. Give me a corpse. Pick up my spectre, bro. It's, a, it's outside of. Very good. All good. Take care of Re corrected. One flank. Uh, listen. Whenever you get. Uh, you know, KO knifed as a. <coughs> as a cipher, you need to clear. You know, the back of your team. Or give that information to your teammates. Like here, this trip is not enough. Like before doing any trip, fuck the trip to be honest. If, if I got the KO knife there, I'm just gonna come back, see if anyone lurked. I will clear this, clear this, clear this whole area of the map, and then I'm gonna go back, fight with my teammates. Like, also this trip doesn't do anything. Enemies can just jump up here. You're fucking dead. You can silently jump up there, but, you know, I, I, I didn't really give a fuck, man. And we lost this round. Nice. Uh, okay. If you don't know if your tripwire is going to, you know, like, uh, like how high you should put your tripwire. Very simple way to do it. Crouch down. On the opposite angle from which you're doing a trip wire, aim the fucking trip in your head, like this, bam. Enemies cannot crouch underneath it, enemies cannot jump, jump it. There's no way to jump this, like try it in a custom server with your friend. Uh, maybe Jet can glide, man, and even Jet cannot glide. Done. This, this is a trip wire for the Mickey Mouse. Okay. I hate to say it, but uh, I think Destiny is a good example of controller duelist cipher. Uh, I think that uh, the best two cipher players to analyze, if you want to be better at at playing cipher, are the Nets and uh, the Desert. Uh, Nets play cipher in a really smart way, in a default way. That is really good, uh, because he has a good feeling for timings and, and game sense. And Duster play, play it more like how I play it, more like a controller duelist. So if you can combine Nets and Duster playstyle, you're a fucking god at playing Cypher. I don't say that these two players are bad, like they're oh, fucking they're really good. Nice. It's just that player that can combine both is like when is insanity. Yeah. Now. Is it okay? In this round, what he's doing right now, it's okay. You know, in eco rounds, halber rounds, you can try to go for some kind of a solo picks, uh, try to surprise the enemies, why not? All good. But, uh, to be honest, in this round, I would have pushed the A set again. Like last round, our push on A worked. The only problem was, we just played the post plan like idiots. You know, and... Push the same site three rounds in a row. Fake that site in the fourth round. Trust me, the opposite site is gonna be free. It should be clear. How about Dingy? Dingy does nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead as fuck, bro. It's okay. Well, what he's doing right now is. Two market. Oh, they, they, they pulled up the switch. 
They got a switch on it? Come out the closet, little ones. Not the one market. Are both there? Ace clear. Three out of five. Your map awareness <coughs> is fucking terrible. <laughs> like, that's all I'm gonna say. Like, listen, if I'm using a... So, we're here, using the Cypher ultimate. Come out the club. You, you did that ultimate. Oz it, little one. Like, okay, this guy surprised us. We are around the cover. While we are around the cover, where do we look at? Minimap. Aha, uh -huh. Killjoy is coming back into the CT. Fade is still there. I wouldn't fight Killjoy here. I would have actually fought the Fade. And if I wanted to fight the Killjoy, we needed to do the Cage to fight the Killjoy. You needed to do this, and then pick a fight with the Killjoy. Or what we could have done is a Cage here, camera aggressively onto the Fade, and then killing the Fade. Once again, you just survived because enemies have mental deficiency and also mechanical deficiency as well, as we can see. I love the shots, very good patience. Reaction time is not there, but patience is there. Precision is always more important than the speed in everything that you're doing, and the speed is built up over time. All good. Not the one market. Are both there. Here, you should have been dead. Three out of five. Faith should have killed you. And also here, you know that the jet is on the site. You know that the fate is marked. But let's 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 use our Sova and provide some kind of a pressure for Sova. So this is the scenario. Like Sova is at the stairs. My claw is coming out with the ultimate here. Jet is here. Fade is here. What do we do? Let's put some pressure onto the enemies. You know? Like, we have a close-range weapon. 51 HP. Let's do the cage here. Let's do aggressive camera. Reveal the jet. Bop. Then with the second cage, cross the fade. Kill the jet. Maybe kill the fade as well. Why, 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 why did we stop? Also here, before before engaging this fade into a 1v1 fight, we need to make some kind of a pressure onto that fade. Like, 51 HP, you're a really easy target to be killed. Like, let's do this, you know? Let's do this. And then pick the fade. Like, fade is gonna be distracted by the camera. She's gonna do this flick. While she's flicking towards the camera, you can peek out, take an easy kill. Or maybe, through the second cage, you can just spam her if she's trying to run back, take an easy kill, and then go with the claw on the bomb site. Nice. I'm not, I'm not gonna... I don't know how is this possible, literally, like, 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 Fade knows that you're still seat. like, what the fuck, man, like, I, I don't know. Uh, a play that worked... Doesn't mean it's a good play. Just remember that, like, uh, you know. I'm teaching you how to play against Radiant players, not against these imbeciles. Like, we need to build up the good habits as soon as possible. Good kill, bro. Uh, Second, and negative KD. I'm already negative, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Let me see the tripwire for the aim in. It goes on the leaderboard. Yes. Come on, this, but this is a, this is not even a Mickey Mouse. This is a, a Jerry tripwire. Jerry tripwire, guys. My guy is playing Tom and Jerry here. Like, what yeah, the fuck is this? Negative KD. To be honest, like, uh, you know. Uh, th that camera that you did there was a huge waste. There was no reason to use that camera. Like, you want to use your camera when your teammates are 
push you onto the site to pressure the enemies and reveal them. You don't want to use the camera while your teammates are sitting at the choke point. Like, you want to use the camera when your teammates are going out. So basically, you know, your Reyna is using a flash, use a camera, apply additional pressure, push with the Reyna. Use the camera through the enemy smoke, you reveal all of the enemies on the site, ba 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 ba, push out with the Reyna, kill the enemies. This is just a waste. I race ready. Smokes. To be honest, considering what type of trip wire you put there, it's ready. He's doubling it down. Back to back. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Happens, happens, happens. <laughs> <coughs> back to back. Love it, love it, man, love it. But let me ask you one thing. Uh, you want to put a tripwire here. So, what if the enemy does this? What's the point of the tripwire? Pay attention. Always ask yourself. Is there any way how the enemies can jump over your tripwire? Why put second tripwire there anyway? But because his first tripwire is for the Mickey Mouse. You know, this is how the first trip. I would also use the second... If I had this tripwire, I would also use the second tripwire as well. But I would not use it here. I would use it here. Bam. Like that. And then... But I don't know why he's even placing that trip wire. His teammates are pushing into the bomb site and he's playing with the trips. Yeah. I'm planning. Reloading. One enemy remaining. I can't even explain LOL. <laughs> oh, no, no, he can't. That was... <laughs> no, no, he can't. <laughs> One guy asked, can, he, can they be behind us? And then the other guy said, no, no, they can't because of the Cypher tripwires. <laughs> and we have a, <laughs> we have a Mickey Mouse tripwire. <laughs> and, and this tripwire here. <laughs> third, third time is the charm, huh? Maybe saving. <clears throat> okay, so it's a one round, whatever. Yeah, bro. It, it's okay that in this round they push the A site. Uh, on Ascent, uh, whenever enemies are equal or hal by, the best idea is to do a 5 man push on A and to avoid the mid area of the map and the B site. Done. It's okay what. what uh, what they did in that round, just you need to play more with your most aggressive teammates, play with them and try to use their life. And please pay, at pay attention on your trips, man. Like, this is... Like, I'm, I'm not a Cypher main, but at least... At least, like, uh, you know, I don't put up Mickey Mouse trip wires. Sometimes, on Defender's side, I do use <coughs> Mickey Mouse trip wires, but just to make them less noticeable, and to fuck up the enemies, you know, like, uh, to make them just trip over and then ba 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 But, on attack you cannot use a Mickey Mouse technology. I got money, bro. I don't know, to be honest, like, uh, uh, in this next round, uh, so we pushed A site three out of the four rounds. To be honest, like, this is a good round to do some kind of a fake. I think that we've impaired the enemy's mentality, uh, quite a lot on the A site. Like, this is the perfect moment of time to do some kind of a fake and just go B. Oh, oh. But to be honest, at the end of the day, if something is working, why change it? Just go A site again. I already requested, bro. You already bought me. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> What, what is this? What, uh, bro? Okay, listen. 
if you're playing on the attacker side, don't jerk off to Mia Malkova porn. Like, uh, let's prepare us for the round. So your teammates want to go B. Start, and you want to go with them. Start the round by placing this trip here. You know? Or maybe, I don't know. There's probably some kind of uh, angled trip that I don't know about. Or I, did I see something like... Uh, I think I saw some trip wire here, like... Uh, that is angled. But fuck, fuck this shit. Just do a trip wire here. Like this. Use a trip wire for the B main and that's it. Like prepare yourself for the round. Like you, you will see me when I play Sunset. Like I always keep trip wires for the potential lurking flank. The only time when I'm not uh, using a trip wires on the attack immediately is when the enemies are destroying them with a Soba dart and shit like that. Then you need to wait a bit and then do them or I don't know, like uh, do them a bit later or just you, you know, save one trip for maybe a post plant or something. I'm fucking salty about it. Oh, okay, brother, if your teammates are pushing the, you know, B site, we need to be ready with the camera. We need to be ready with the camera. If your teammates are pushing B, <laughs> trip for LeBron James next. Yao Ming, man. Like, so, my teammates are pushing B. No problemo. Let's use this cam, let's use this cam, let's use some random, you know, camera to spot everything, but we need that fucking camera to reveal the enemies and push in. I mean, generally speaking, the best camera is just doing this and scouting the site and the locks, but you can change it a bit, like, depending where the enemies are most commonly playing. It's really up to you. No, I mean, it's not up to you, it's up to the what you see in the previous rounds. Alright, let's go, let's go. Angle clearing, zero points. Zero points. Like, nobody cleared the logs. I mean, to be honest, Soba drone, like... Alright. Let's go, let's go. My, nah, they, nobody cleared the logs. Listen. Even if you have 10 recon abilities, scouting the bomb site and scouting some area of the map, never trust the recon utility of your teammates in the lobbies below, like, uh, immortal at least. I, I will still clear this. Clear this. Clear this, 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 this. As I'm pushing onto the bomb site. So here. Okay, we want to play a bit more aggro. No problem. We can use a cage to block the vision there. Clearing this angle. Clearing this angle. Clearing this angle. Going for the switch. We need to replenish the smoke there or here. Then we can use a camera for the bomb site. And then we can push in. One flank. Okay. 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 One I'm enemy remaining. Spammed or something. I'm planting. I'm holding mid, bro. I can ult if you want. You are holding yeah. nothing. You want me? This is a wasted ultimate. Listen, man. Like, if you have a true numbers advantage, fuck it. It is not worth it. And you know what is a true numbers advantage. Like, especially if there's only one enemy alive and you're two versus one, three versus one, four versus one. It's not worth it. We wasted the ultimate. And I'll hold your... Just I'll play with your teammates and that's it. Oh my God. Yeah, I was not holding. <laughs> Think Clove got a joystick? Yeah, yeah, they got both. Or they got one and they identified. What are these? Don't use the camera, man. I mean, if you already want to use some camera for aiming, the only thing that is, you know, some instant camera for aiming. The only thing that is viable is like using some kind of a cam here. Like this. But, but. Everything else is like. You know. Okay. Rule. One of the important rules in Valorant. I want to say rule number one, but. You know. Uh, picking up, picking up the orbs. Farming ultimate. Uh, 
focus on picking up the orbs if there is absolutely nothing else that you should be doing at that moment of time essentially or if you really need to farm orbs for some very important ultimate during that round so my teammates are pushing the site fuck the orbs i need to play with them i need to refrag them i need to push with them it is dangerous to pick up the orb because enemies can spam me kill me fuck the orb i don't need it there is a huge chance that my teammates are gonna get in a fight fuck the orb fight with the teammates pick up the orb later like only when only when the, the, there is absolutely nothing else happening on the map i'm focused on picking up the stupid orbs and if i needed to build up some very imp important ultimate for that specific round that might clutch the whole round you have zero ultimate points your teammates are pushing in the site what the you're wasting your time Fuck, okay, listen, man. If, if you already come at the switch, please close the doors for yourself and your teammates, man. Like, like you never want to stay here for a long period of time, man. Like, uh, this this spot here is a death sentence. <coughs> Same as when you're pushing onto the B site. You never want to stay here for a long period of time. Like, on these two positions, you want to stay for maximum, like... Uh, I don't know. Two, three, four seconds. Like your job is just to close the doors, cross into the bomb site, fight the enemies, and choose a better angle. Like these two spots are death sentences. Like it's so easy to get fucked there by the enemy's utility, to get fucked by the random spam, uh, to get sprayed down, to get pop flashed and killed. Like get out of there. Close the doors, push into the site. Fuck, not even I can't. Well deserved death. Res. Like when I'm pathing into the A set of uh, Ascent, you know, my. If no one is going for the switch, okay, I'm gonna go for the switch. I will close the doors, but I'm instantly turning my focus towards the site and playing here. And then, if the enemies are destroying the doors, okay, like we can do some one way setup up here, whatever. Uh, or we can just, you know. Choose a better position to fight the enemies. Like, you will never see me, but literally never, on attacker side, fighting the enemies from here. This wall, fully fucking spammable. Like, death sentence position. It's a hit mobile game by Supercell. No. You think that I told you? Is that good? I must wait for one here. Listen, man, if your teammates are already pushing the, some main area of the map together, just use a camera to support your teammates push uh, uh, onto the bomb site. It's just better. You know, if you're, if, if you're all, already alone on mid, fuck it. Just use, you know, play, as long as the team play is working for you, play with your teammates and that's it. What are you looking at right now? And use your utility for them. Uh, I was out AFK. Mm-hmm. Right now, having a camera would be nice. Oh. Should just miss that. Oh my um. Uh, brother, you have a spike. <coughs> Listen. Uh, first of all. A problem that you have here is my guy has a spike and we need to plant the spike. Uh, second of all, uh, whenever enemies have an... You know, whenever one enemy is fully isolated 
from the rest of the team, your primary focus is killing that enemy. Like here, fuck the Jet and Killjoy. Who cares about them? Like one enemy is alone in the CT. Let's fuck up that CT guy and then deal with the enemies late with the enemies from behind us later. Th that's always the best rule to follow, like uh, when this type of a scenario happens. Fuck the Jet and Killjoy, who cares about them? Like uh, they need like 10 seconds to get into the B main choke point here. Let's kill the fade. And then we are playing four versus two. 90 K or fade. Just two this. What, swing with me. Ma, what swing with me? Why are you fighting there? There's no swing with me. Why are you fighting there? That that's the question. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> Who are you, bro? Where's the cam? Are you even on our team? I don't know. You spoke. If you even spoke. You need to be more focused at, at playing with your most aggressive teammate. I, I don't know what you're doing during the rounds. Why are you wasting so much time? In the troll points like this. But you need to play more with your most aggressive ally. Try to support him and try to refrag him. Try to give him an easier time to push into the bomb site. Use a camera for him. Use the cages. Be ready to refrag that Reyna. Your teammates are not bad. They're like aggressive and okay. You know. What the fuck are we doing in the A main area of the map for this amount of time? Like we're spending too much time looking at the camera and jerking our cocks off behind our teammates. Are you even on our team? I don't know, you spoke. If you even spoke. Oh, wow. He has that one off angle. Oh. Get out. Get out. Like, like I, I, I don't know what's the problem. Like, bro. Okay. You're scared about an enemy that might be there. No problem. Bop, bop. Let's fight. You're scared about the enemies on tower. No problem. Let's do this. Push in. Cross here. And now, fight the enemies with your teammates. Give me a corpse. No, I'm dead, bro. Your teammates are fighting the war on the bomb site. I, 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 I don't know. Is this some kind of a pacifist run to Radiant? You know, the least amount of kills possible to Radiant. I mean, he's having the kills, to be honest. But, but <clears throat> I, I think that you're baiting your most aggressive teammates way too much. You can play with them 100%. Create a space with the smokes. Pick the fights with them. Play more aggro, man. Wait, let's rotate. Wait, let's rotate. So, your raise is on the bomb site. So, why is pushing through the choke point? And you think your teammates are gonna listen to you and, and go. You think your teammates are gonna rotate? And you think your teammates can rotate right now safely? Don't be scared to fight if you already have teammates that you can refrag. Where to rotate? Look, look at the map. Where you want to rotate? How can they rotate? Bro, they're not Casper the Ghost to, 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 to go through the walls. You know? Our spike carrier is I have spike down the spike. A. No, he's just gonna leave the race to die alone. Clear the angles. The enemy. We don't know about. Last okay, Rez got one kill. That <coughs> it's immortal. It was sober, bro. Oh, I said the turret is immortal. Bad tripwire. Like, here, we're two, uh, one versus two. Actually, he needs to play a bit more aggro. It's okay, it's okay, actually. It's okay. 
It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, he, he needs to play a bit more. Uh, he needs to play a bit more aggro because uh, of the Killjoy's ultimate. This is good. But right now, he needs to have some kind of a camera, you know, like trying to scout the enemies, trying to distract them. Like, you know, maybe what he should have done is maybe like, you know, while we're going, like, while you're over the, while you're going for the plant, already ask yourself how you can, you know, outplay the enemies. Like, maybe we can put a cage here, put this trip here, plant the spike, then use a camera here, and now hide here. And then enemies are pushing in, we tag one enemy, he's removing the dart, second enemy is pushing, bam, we kill that enemy, and now we fight the one we won. My guy is just waiting for it to be pop fleshed like and killed one versus two. One. Playing this aggro is really good. Really good. <clears throat> one enemy remaining. <laughs> and also uh when when Killjoy got tripped here, he needed to fight this KO. Like he we cannot allow the enemies to make a sandwich out of us. Like, uh, if I'm one versus two, I'm not scared to pick a fight. I, th the first moment of time, when you see that you can isolate an enemy into a clean one versus one fight, you need to take that fight. When you're playing this type of clutch scenarios, you cannot stay stand still. Like, you need to do something. Here, we, we needed to kill this uh, KO before the killjoy connected with him. One enemy remaining. I mean, I mean, that was the whole point of that tripwire in the city. I'm gonna lurk up a main. I'm gonna not smoke tree. I'm gonna smoke rafters but, 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 but bottom mid. and part of tree. No, wait, wait, they're not picking up. Oh. Oops. Um. Tree. I mean, uh, in this elo, they're not doing, you know, the, the Soba is not destroying the trips, but uh, if this tripwire is getting destroyed by the Soba, it is totally fine for you to play some kind of a tripwire like this. This is also fine. Like, if, if this trip is getting destroyed, just use this alternation, like, and that's it. And make sure that the tripwire is not for uh, Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna smoke it. part of tree. No, wait, wait, they're not picking up. Oh. Oops. Um. Uh oh. Yeah, 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 wait, wait. Give me two seconds, bro. Okay, so you want to tell me that uh, it is more logical for you to lurk through mid right now instead of fighting with your teammates in, in Garden in a gold 3 platinum elo? Bro, like. Your teammates in short can die like this. Your Chloe is alone in the A-Main, she can die like this. I don't trust these guys. You need to play more with them, with your most aggressive teammates. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh, give me one second, one second. Yes. Oh, I got one. Right. Go B, 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 go B. There's no way I would have trusted these guys. Like, the result of this round would have been absolutely the same if you played with them. B, B. One's on side B. Nice, nice, let me get that heal. Nice. Oh my god. The heal saved my life. Hey, so I didn't I must wait a moment. I'm gonna knife her. Don't okay, swing. I'm so far up CT. Don't swing. Don't swing, Mark it. One enemy remains. <sighs> so, you know that two enemies are in the CT. Your claw is behind them. Reina is CT. Raise the CT. Hey, let's play in the B main area of the map where I have a tripwire for the B main and enemies cannot be there. Just use your brain a bit more. Try to play more with your teammates, you'll be totally fine. Trust me. Trust me, you'll, you'll be more than fine. I mean, obviously, this round... I mean, if you lose this round, like... 
whatever. Uh, but bro, raise is one HP. Reina is one HP. They can easily die. Use their lives for a refray potential. Don't swing, don't swing market. One enemy remaining. Market door is closed. You guys, you guys. Market door is closed. Oh. And then we're. Nice. No bottom. If I get shotgun, I'm sorry. Hey, watch this one time. <clears throat> Watching. I'm watching. Yeah. I'm 46 you watching, you watch this one time? I'm watching this one time. Okay. Watching it. You ready? You ready? Watching. Okay, we made that true numbers advantage. We're four versus two. Play with your team. Play more with your team, bro. You ready? You ready? You ready? Yo, 80 on fade. 80 on fade top mid. Okay, okay. Go get him. I have retrieved the spike. Nice. Oh, no. No. Ah. <laughs> what am I dealing with my own playing this game by <laughs> My guy is depressed while winning. What am I dealing with my own playing this game by Bro. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you gonna break that right now? Oh. Yeah, I got it. I couldn't. Okay. Oh, we go B, we go B, we go B, we got two picks, we got two picks, we go B, we got two picks, we go B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break that right now. Now, this lurks with the, you know, tile area of the map. It is fine. You know, like, uh, to be honest, like, you know, you can try to do this as a Cypher player, like, in some of the rounds. Your job is... To apply the pressure onto the enemies and to guess them when you're gonna lurk. So it, it's okay for this round because anyway, it's like... Uh, at the end of the day, he can just go through short, pick some good timing, help his teammates on the ASAS, so it's okay. Uh, he's definitely gonna play with his teammates no matter what. Oh, yeah, I got it. I couldn't. Okay. Oh, we go B, we go B, we go B, we got two picks, we got two picks, we go B. And this idea to go B is actually a solid idea. Uh, because uh, enemies have the killjoy ultimate. And if you don't have the full, if you if you don't have a counter for that ultimate in Garden, it's just better to end up on the B set and play a bit more aggro on B. Go B, we got two picks, we go B. Yeah, 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 Jet and KO were last seen there. You want me to res you? Yeah, res me, res me. Raps. Oh my god. Three out of five. Uh, KO. <laughs> you, you really need to respect the numbers a bit more and that's it, man. Like, uh, we talked about this uh, in our coaching sessions. Like, as soon as you make a true numbers advantage in a full-by round, shift your, foco uh, shift your focus from what the enemies are doing and how can I fuck them up to, like, uh, how can I preserve this numbers advantage and how can I play with my teammates in the most efficient and the best way possible? Like, I feel that you're just, you know, especially when you're lurking and flanking with a Cypher. When you, when you get a kill, most of the times you, you should just go back and play with your team. That's it. Like, enemies are probably be aware, are going to be aware of your additional lurk and flank. You cannot press anymore forward. Just play with your team, man. You've done your job. It took two kills on mid, kill on this jet, my job is over. Now, it is time to use my teammates to refrag them, to play with them, and to close this round together. Three out of five. Odin. Okay. And we lost the round. Yep. Who's in Paris? Operator! Oh, oh. Word I can't say. Listen, the only time I would actually buy the op on the attacker side is if the enemies are repeating the same positions on defense. Like, uh, they're peaking like, you know, 24-7. Some kind of a position. Or playing the same position. Yeah, you can buy the op, try to punish one enemy, take, make an easy numbers advantage, and that's it. But I think this is a, a bit of a blind pick. Because we don't really know how the enemies are playing on mid. They are changing their positions, like, you know, quite a lot. 
sometimes they're playing passively, sometimes aggressively, like uh, in the short. So I don't know. Personally, like I feel that this this match, we could have just played together as five, abuse the team play, refrag our allies, and that's it. Like we could have won like ten rounds by that, like that on the attack. Well, why don't you say? Tell me when you guys get pushed up tree, I'll smoke for you. you are okay, I can't smoke for you anymore. And also, listen, whenever you're playing uh, some kind of an open angle with Cypher with Operator, such as this. So, you're holding this. I would always drop one trip in front of me, in case that I miss my shot, and I need to reposition. I'm gonna sit right here until this ult ends. But, same as in every other round, instead of playing alone, and doing this type of shit, Especially, you know, put yourself in the shoes of the enemies. So last last round, Fade died in short, Claw di died in mid. Because you fucked them up from the tiles. Enemies are not gonna have that much of a confidence to peek you here and to play aggro here. Like, they're probably gonna tuck themselves in and they're gonna follow the rule of fear. Like, uh, change your playstyle based on how you fucked up the enemies in the previous rounds. Like, don't repeat the same shit over and over again. Especially if some kind of a lurk and flank worked once. Maybe next round play with your teammates, then next round play with your teammates, then in the fourth round, you know, try to lurk and flank again. Try to surprise the enemies. But doing the same shit over and over again, you, you become way too repetitive. And uh, most of the times that is not a good idea. Especially here, like, we're 4 versus 2. Bro, just go with your teammates on A-side. Kill that claw on A-side. Win this round, man. Like... Use the ultimate. Who's bro shooting at? <clears throat> okay. Okay. Where you shooting? On the attack. You need better game decisions. In terms of... Uh, in terms of your team play, who should you support, and when you should go for a specific play. Like, uh, your team play on attack can be much better, you can support your allies much better, and uh, you need to pay more attention when to do a specific play. Now, on defender side of Ascent, a site is our default site, number one priority. B site, number two priority. And we consistently need to have the information whether or not the enemies can be market and A short and A garden. <clears throat> On this map, fuck the B site and A site control. If the enemies are splitting the map, always focus yourself on the control of the market and garden. If the enemies take the garden and market control, you are fucked, basically, on the site. In the first one with Cypher, I will always start on the A site. And then, you know, what I do in the second, third, fourth round depends, you know, what the enemies did in the first round. Mm -hmm. So, in the first round with Cypher, I don't know, man, like, you can just do, you can just buy a classic light shield, two trip wires, and, you know, position some kind of a setup passively, and that's it. But personally, what I love to do is, like, Classic, Life Shield, two cages, and a trip. I think that having two cages in the first round is much better. Because we can use a trip and a cage for some kind of an outplay. To take an easy kill onto the enemies. <coughs> like basically, what players do when they're pushing onto the A side. Someone is always gonna go for a switch. So what we can do, we can do a trip here. Play. Instead of the enemy smoke, a bit more passively, take an easy kill and play the retake of the A site. For an example. It's a very scuffed setup, but very effective because no, no, one, no one is going to expect a tripwire like this. They're always going to smoke you here. Easiest kill of your life. 
we just play the retail with our teammates. We can also create some kind of uh, other setup. It's really up to you. Like, I'm always focused in the first round more. Like, what is my goal in the first round on a defender's side? My goal is not to defend the bomb site alone. My goal is to make a numbers advantage for my team and retake the bomb site together with my allies. So that is how I play every every first round with every agent. Like my main goal is killing one enemy, resetting, and play with my team. Done. I cannot defend the bomb site alone. I don't have enough utility for that. I don't have a good gun for that because we are playing a semi-automatic weapons pistols, basically. And that's why we can go for these type of uh, scuffed setups to che cheesy setups basically to get a kill and then like uh, uh, retake the site with our allies. Maybe we can do a trip here. Camera for the main. And play like this. And then, you know, enemies are pushing into the A site from the enemy smoke, blah, blah, blah. Kill that enemy. Open the camera. Focus on short. And then play the retake together with your teammates. But in the first round, I would always play on A site. Tree every round. This goes here. Isn't there a better trip fire for main? Like, man, listen. This trip fire is much better than what you did. This this is much better trip fire, right? Instead of doing it like he did it here. It's harder to to destroy the trip. Right? I mean yeah, they, they can do this, but still like they need to peek out of the smoke and do it. Yo, Sova got a kill. Holy shit. Oh, this is a nice spot. Footsteps there. At least one. All right. Okay, let's walk in. I don't know. I, 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 as I said, man, like, uh, I really, really like these, uh, these cheesy setups in the first round. You know, classic pistol shorty strategy. Strategy, strategy, charlatan, bro. Strategy, guy. Like, uh, classic pistol shorty strategy and that type of shit. Like, uh, like I think that this, this can work really well. Like, uh, basically, putting some kind of a... Is there a better trip for this? Maybe... Well, no, this is, this is fine. This is plenty good. Enemies are pushing into the side. Jet is dashing in. One enemy here, bop. He gets triggered. You play here, ba 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 ba. Easy kill. Delay the enemies, and that's it. With this camera, you can scout the short and aim in. <coughs> <coughs> enemies are pushing. A side done. Give me a corpse. Yo, they oh. were mad. And uh, like. Uh, the reason why I always buy, like, uh, two cages in the first round is I love to place one cage as a defender cage. Like, basically, you know, we can do some kind of a one way for the A main or, you know, like, uh, one way for the short. Sorry, guys, I'm not really good at this. Like, uh, you need to find these setups uh, yourself. Like, uh, I have zero one way setups. Uh, and the second cage you can just keep for the retake, like, it's very useful to have, like, this smoke. Especially when you're retaking the B set of, uh, Ascent, because we can create this type of a setup. Aggress the enemies, isolate the enemies into parts, and that's it. Why are you lying to me, bro? Liar, liar. Hands on fire. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably got third degree burns on your butt. Uh, follow your most aggressive teammates, or yeah. Oh, bless Now we need to play man. passively. But the cave is gonna knife you, you need to oh, change your position. Oh, I'll there. This is horrible. Yo, Raze, you kill him, right? Yeah, yeah watch us, ready? Yeah, 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 I'm watching. Oh, no, he bought shield! 
Okay. I'm, okay. I'm telling you, bro. I get. I get. Listen. Now, <clears throat> on ascent. If you win the first round, second round, always play around the short area of the map. By the outlaw, with a light shield or heavy shield. And the rest of the money goes into utility. When I'm playing Cypher, what I love to do is the following. I will give my teammates the full setup for the B site. Basically, I will give my teammates the troop wire for the for the main area of the map. Maybe we can do something like this. We can do, use a troop for the, you know, speedway. We can just use a some other setup, like, really, it doesn't matter, like, uh, you can figure it out. I will use a camera for the aiming area of the map and short. And I'm gonna go for the aggro peak with the outlaw on mid link. And just hold the mid for my team. Easiest kills possible. Like, when you win the first round on A, so enemies try to push A side, and they lose the round. Chances are, 80% that enemies will try to do something on B side or mid. Or they're gonna play default. And that is why I start with this type of a setup. Mm. She yeah. has, she's like Phoenix and Reyna. Like, oh, this is a nice <laughs> but then Omen as well. Like Omen was like there, the third wheel, like just like sticking it in every once in a while. Yes, sir. Drop in a smoke. Down B. Down B. And not using outlaw in, in, in antique rounds is just stupid. Like uh, literally outlaw in these rounds is just a free free round basically and also against the in the bonus round if you say the outlaw weapon is amazing okay okay in the first round enemies went a in the second round they went b so in this third round we can all once again play a side because of the rule of fear. Anyways, A set is our default bomb site, so why not? I've gotta get those. Oh, what, bro? Bro, get those bro, bro, last game. But especially in this round, like because you're playing with a Spectre, we need to go for some kind of a cheesy play. You know, you cannot just play in a default way and kill the enemies with the Spectre and enemies have the out, uh, you know, Bendels and that type of shit. Like maybe we can, you know, create some kind of a <coughs> cage setup here. Like, same as you do with the uh, Omen smokes. Like, basically, you can do a cage here, like this. Do the tripwires for maybe the jet. Is, is there a tripwire for the jet that is dashing up here? This is actually fucking good, bro. I, I think this is even better than, than putting a stupid trip here, man. Because all of these trips in the air are semi-destructible. I don't know, this is really good, I, I like this shit. Whatever. Like, uh, you know, just, just the whole point is, this round, because it's a bonus round, you cannot play in a default way. Like, in these type of rounds, your main goal is to trade yourself for as many kills as possible. And to try to find some cheesy picks. You cannot just put a default setup, and pray to but god it's gonna I was, work. I was hitting this girl with the E-Riz, the Nachalant, Aura, Riz, on Valorant. Hashtag e Rizzing up Duke. Plus the enemies have a KO. Dennis. Dude, dude, Knife can like destroy us. This guy was so skibbity on this guy was so skibbity on uh, on Valorant today, dude. Oh yeah. I'm telling you. I was like, oh, on that is so cancer, I love it. But to be honest, like I I don't know, like uh, I mean I guess this trip does the job. But also uh, but there is a you know, when it comes to this trip, there is a margin of error where the jet might object dash without hitting the trip. But if the jet is of dashing here, she's always gonna hit this trip. But there's no way this trip doesn't uh, doesn't trigger. Absolutely no way. 
Maybe there's even a better one. I mean, this is good enough. Like, what, what, what do you need? Like, <laughs> put it on Skibbity, bro. Put it on Skibbity. On Skibbity, bro. Oh, <clears throat> my God. No sh No shot. Was he rizzing up Duke Dennis? And Baby Gronk? Wait, wait, wait. They're main. They're main. Be main. I saw KJ at least. Okay. This round was anyways a gamble. Like, we, we don't know what the enemies are going to do. So, it's okay. Oh, they're playing Duke, though. If I got hit by that trip in a goal lobby, I'm ending it all. <laughs> Watch, if he swings this, he's dead. No, one stun, KJ. He's so skibbity on B. Oh, and gone, Gliz. Please, for the love of God, when you're going for the retakes and when you're rotating with Cypher, take the camera with yourself. It's really fucking useful. You know? Oh, no, bro. Watch this. Someone gonna put down. Oh. Oh! Oh, you okay. see that? Up. Up. Perchance. This goes here. Well, it's good nice fellow. Twenty-five <coughs> calculation. I apologize. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Listen, man. Like, uh, I th I think that whenever you're not certain where the enemies are gonna go, if you're already playing a sentinel on this map. Especially in this elo, it is very fucking important to have a information on mid. I, I just feel that in these lobbies, in these lobbies like gold, platinum, diamond, like silver, etc., etc., people have a very bad perception of timings and very bad map awareness. Like only God knows if your teammates are gonna be aware of these lurks and flanks through mid. Like, whenever you're not certain where the enemies are gonna go, I think that having a trip in mid is like a mandatory shit. Like, this thing here, or we can make it, you know, something like this. Like, it, it really doesn't matter. <clears throat> and then the second trip can go for maybe a choke point or to counter the enemy's push on site. We have a camera for short. Everything is there. Oh, what the fuck is this camera, man? Like... Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I really think that the default camera for Asa should always be here. To watch the short and to watch this. But, I mean, if you already have a trip for that, it's okay, I guess. Perchance. You're projecting, Ooh. dude. What the f*** flip? I'm suppressed. I'm not, I'm not pressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm depressed. Yo, close door, close door, close door, please. I'm fucked. I do it. So, so just One talk to yourself. Yeah. Just go in the corner. Give it to Ohio! Watching this spot. Camera taken out. Yo, yo, they're here, they're here. Yo, they're up mid, they're up mid. Hey. Yo, 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 I'm 24 HP, yo, yo, yo. Cage triggered. Holy skip, you raise. Found you. One on A. <sighs> 30 seconds left. <clears throat> okay. Uh. There is really nothing better we could have done in this round. Like, w one thing that I need to tell you is... Even if you're playing Cypher... You cannot sell this much map control to the enemies. Like, if you're playing on the A site... At least try... If you, if you don't have some kind of a setup... Some really fucking good setup... To play off... And to get some cheesy kills... At least jump spot the enemies. Or jiggle pick the enemies. Try to get the early information... Whether or not, uh, enemies are taking the space control. You don't need to commit to the fight. You can just go for a burst fire and get the fuck out. 
but get some early info onto the enemies. Second of all, when you were going for this retake, you should have chilled a bit. Wait for your teammates. Your claw has the ultimate. You know? Your camera is gonna reset in 10 seconds. I know that the jet updrafted. But instead of, like, why do we need to isolate this one versus one fight? Like, close ultimate is like an extra life, you know? We can just wait for our teammates, peek the jet together, fight together, instead of fighting alone. <laughs> this was an unnecessary one versus one gunfight. There was really no reason for this. Absolutely no reason. Okay. Also, you know, same as with Omen and Jet, I think there's enormous amount of classic pistol shorty strategies that you can abuse with Cypher as well. Like, basically, in eco rounds, eco rounds, you cannot play in a default way in the same way that you play your full by rounds. One of the main reasons why players are not winning their eco rounds is because they're behaving towards the eco rounds as if they're playing some kind of a full fucking buy. Like, you need to figure out some cheesy plays, how you can maybe get some easy kills. Uh, so, for an example, what we can do... Let me just get back into the indie game servers. Just a second. <coughs> you should make a cypher guide like Omen and Jet if you haven't. I think I think uh, Cypher uh, playbook is gonna come out uh, uh, this year 100%. I think Cypher is gonna be our sixth agent. The fifth agent is gonna be Chamber. Actually, sixth is gonna be probably Gecko. And seventh is gonna be Cypher. Eighth agent is gonna be Phoenix. And uh, then we're gonna see. So basically, you know, uh, in this round, we need to gamble on some bomb site. And okay, basically, whenever I have no idea where the enemies are gonna go, I always gamble towards the A site. We can do this type of a setup here, you know, doing a trip here. Playing inside of this smoke with a shorty, enemy strip, you have a smoke, bab bab, easy kill. Uh, we can play on the site, try maybe to have a, some kind of a cheesy trip here. Yes, this should go. Don't do that. Like, uh, at a generator, this goes here. wait for the enemies to push in, this is a nice smoke this, enemies are pushing in, use the smoke, okay. activate the smoke, bab bab. Bab up. You're playing the B site. On B site as well, like you have. Um, you can create so many weird setups with Cypher. For easy kills, it's literally like. You know. Like maybe you can put a cage here. Enemies are pushing in. Play inside of the cage. Wait for the enemies to push in. Bab up, bab up, bab up. Try to kill them. Take a walk up tree, bro. Fuck. Yo, baked potato, can you like wake up a little bit, man? Reloading. Mm -hmm. So, can you look tree? Oh, there was one more B main, bro. Nah, no, nobody push up, bro. They're playing deep, but we play deep. The octopus. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> aim. Only aim. But then he gets rezzed and then kills me. Push him, push him, push him. I, uh, I think that the best camera for the B set is actually this one here. 
Like you don't need anything else to be honest. Death and and or hiding it here, like so the enemies cannot destroy it. Yo, I died twice by the same person, same kills him. And then KO ults, and I kill him, but then he gets... And then KO ults, and I... Okay. Push him, push him, push him. Yo, I died twice by the same person, same round, same 30 seconds. Listen, uh, on a central and defender side, you cannot play this passively, even if you're playing Cypher. Like, one of the, like, we need to fight for some space control. On this map, always prioritize team play on a defender side, play faster rotations, and always support your teammates in the first fight that they actually pick. Like here, if I have a full setup for the B side, and my Soba is fighting the enemies on mid, fuck it. I'm going towards the market, towards the top, you know, bottom, mid, whatever, uh, and I'm fighting with my Sova. Like, uh, here, like, you're just chilling and your Sova dying. Not really the best idea ever. Especially now. After he got this kill, he needs to move into the market. Sova is gonna fight, like, one, two, three enemies alone. Like, literally, we cannot allow the Sova to die for nothing. No, Chaos such a bitch. Why is he holding me? I don't know. Like, like Cypher really makes out of like uh, Cypher really makes a pussy out of you on a defender side, man. Like, you need to prioritize more. Like, playing with your teammates, like uh, aggressing the enemies once you lose the numbers, stuff like that, man. Like, pick up the camera. We're gonna go for a retake. Always pick up the camera, like, when, when... 30 seconds left. You know that enemies are committing Five to some site. And I have no idea why he's swapping the guns so much, like... Bro, like, chill. I don't know what... what he's, he, like... He seems so angry... From, like, round 10. You know? And I don't know why. Chill, man. Even if these guys were toxic or racist or homophobic, like, whatever the fuck they were. Who cares, man? You're here for the rank rating, you're not here to make the friends, like, there's no friends in Valorant. 80% of community is, like, mentally deficient. Like, uh, clear the angles. Expect the push of the enemies. Don't swap the guns. That's it. 30 seconds left. I don't know, it, it seems like he doesn't care anymore. Already. That's how he plays this defender side. <coughs> White finger. There? Alright. I'll play logs. Face your fear! Okay, that's it. One away, Jeff. One away, Jeff. He dashed off. Good shot.
<clears throat> Two more. Well, if you gotta rotate fast, bro, they're, they're, already, they're so up. Is there guns main? Spike planted. Yes, yes, I got two main. Yeah, judge that thing. Listen. Uh, so, your claw is on a flank lurk. Why are we going for an instant peek? There's no reason to. Plus, you have a camera. Wait for the claw to close the distance with the enemies. You know, to be at least here. Then pull out your big schlong camera to reveal the enemies. And then fight together with a claw. Or apply the pressure onto the enemies with a camera. You know, chill a bit in the spawn. You know, spam the enemies a bit. Try to maybe find a pick. Distract the enemies. So that the claws... Uh, flank lurk can actually work. But it's not gonna work if they have a kill joint anyways. Yes, yes, I got you. <clears throat> uh, what does that mean? The 20 second rule? I explained it already. Just watch this video. On YouTube. You, you cannot play Ascend this passively. Like, we need to fight for that. A main control, B main control, mid control, any control, any map control. Like, you're playing way too passively. And also, whenever enemies have the Killjoy ultimate on a defender side, uh... 80% of times in the ranked environment, enemies are gonna push the B site with this ultimate. So we either need to have some kind of a counter for this ultimate, Odin going for some aggressive play with the flashes, with the cages, with the trip wires, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and that's it. Like, uh, even if the killjoy doesn't use the ultimate here, this ultimate is far more dangerous than this ultimate here, for your team. So in this round, we should have played B, and fucked up the enemies in the B main. You should run. B, 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 B. It's B, you speds. What'd you say? I'm on flank. I didn't quite hear that. Let's take quick. So, uh... Please, for the love of God, if you're rotating with Cypher and you already see that enemies are committing to the push on the site, pick up the camera with yourself and use it for the retake. Oh my God. Bro. Okay. We need to save here, definitely. <coughs> yeah, I got the same amount of money as him. Uh, <laughs> Someone request a shorty. You save. I already bought. What? How? How did he didn't kill anyone? Really low. Really low, 115, 74, really low. You're welcome, GG. I'm going up. Cage triggered. Shock dog. Where is everyone hiding? Oh. my wire. The whole team's like, uh, there. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, this whole round was okay. The whole team's like, uh, there. Up until this point. I uh, hear he needed to, like, uh... I, I, I don't know what the fuck happened here. Uh... I go 
Back A main. Too much, too much against switching, man. Yes, this far. This is a nice spot. That goes there. This is a nice spot. That. Scanning ahead. KJP. What the fuck is this camera, man? Oh, that was not it. You had your fun. My turn. Yo, you were watching that, bro? Oh my god, he just wobbing headshot at me. Why didn't we just run away and like Clove die again? Yeah, I was trying to run back. She just randomly like she's sprinting. And she, like, uh, gen generally speaking, like uh, on ascent, uh, ascent is a fast rotation map. On ascent, you can rotate almost on the first contact between enemies and your teammates, especially if you notice that the enemies are usually committing onto the bomb site. That they initially want to push. So, you know, throughout this whole match, like, enemies were not rotating that much. They were mainly just pushing us five when, you know, they had one guy lurking, flanking. So, I don't know, your rotation could have been much, much faster than what they actually were. Or at least you could have tried to fight for more space control and map control and try to maybe backstab the enemies if you see the enemies on the opposite part of the map. Uh, also, in this round, listen. Two versus four, this is almost impossible to be won. Because we don't have any real utility for the retake. Winning this, like, is insanity. Especially with the light shield. Like, I, I would have saved this round 100%, like, because even if you lose this round, it is 11-11. At least I have a gun for the next round and I can do something. Like, uh, you know, some rounds are simply unwinnable. Or you have, like, Below five percent, below five percent of chances to win them. Just save the weapon and try to focus on the next round. You said oh, five failed round, Madon, bro. Am I wrong for that? Am I wrong? Yeah, but that? you're trying to stay in like a funny like. Yeah. He probably he probably doesn't like Good Friday. He doesn't like he doesn't like Good Friday. He probably I just say you didn't Friday. get a curry today, bro. That's it. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, tech classes. Yo, I just failed Good Friday. True. <laughs> Alright, Fennec. How'd you feel it in March? Yo, guys, why do we rotate off? This kid's still on here, bro. Yo, why are we on A site? Why did we rotate off? Yo, are y'all sped? That was the A player. That's it. Plus and go. Last player standing. Fuck, bro. Fennec, you should save. <laughs> you the, yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. I don't know how to change my name, bro. It's been like this for a while now. I forgot how to. You are powerless. What's on B? Yeah, hard B, it looks like. I don't know how to change my name, bro. It's been. Hey, bro, I know. If you were. Player standing. So guys, like, uh, I, I, I wasted all of my energy 
on the attacker side of this wad. Literally, I'm 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 dying, bro. It's it's like 3 a.m. for me. Panic, you should save. Match point. That's like yo. I don't know how to change my name. Uh, I remember that uh, if you're buying a. Uh, if you're forcing in a round where the enemies are full by on the opposite side, it is never worth forcing a fucking inspector. Stinger better, Sheriff better, Outlaw better, Guardian better, Bulldog better, Judge better. Fuck the spectre. I'm like this for a while now. I forgot how to. Fuck, I wanna pop my ult. Hey, just pop it, dude. It's not gonna come up. Should I try flanking or. Spike planted. I blinded sight. I'm gonna blind again. Go, 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 go. Heal's back sight. Planted. Spike planted. I blinded sight. I'm gonna blind again. Go, 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 go. Heal's back sight. Heal's back I blinded sight. I'm gonna blind again. Go, 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 go. Like, even here, like, listen. Even during this retake. So, first of all, like, uh, this camera here was fine, but it could have been a bit more efficient. Then, the Vandal is on the ground. We can pick up the Vandal and then retake the site. Then, so Vandal is here on the ground. Look, look how I, look, look how I would have retake this site. So, we, we use a camera to scout the enemies, not only here, but also here, in the logs, and a bit in the main as well. Then, we pick up the camera to reset it, because we will have it again in 15 seconds. Use a cage to cross, pick up the vandal, use a trip inside of the cage so the enemies don't surprise us. Then, my teammates are pushing out, I don't need to swing all the way here. I can just try to refrag the teammates from this position and have a bit of the cover. Then if my teammates are dying, I go here and try to actually kill them. Camera gets resetted. Great. We can use the camera as a bait to push the enemies and basically get some easy kills. Like your whole utility usage is lacking a bit of efficiency. But I see that the, the you know, at the defender side of this match, your mentality fell down. You're, re you're really like just trolling left and right, to be honest, like uh, doing whatever the fuck you want. And this should not be happening for you if you are serious about your improvement and getting better. Heels back side. Uh, okay. <clears throat> We're not gonna watch the overtime because the, we already did that. We covered the majority of the stuff. And as a final note here. And as a final note, for this world review, don't play Cypher. And stick to our original plan. Thank you. 
very much. Okay, <clears throat> we're done so for today. I really don't have any more, like, uh, power. Like, uh, my, 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 my throat is hurting me a lot. Uh, you know what you need to do? You know, we, we, we discussed everything. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Like, that's basically it. Thank you for watching. Make sure to join my Discord server. Like, to submit your clips and votes for a review. Uh, we are doing giveaways on every 15 new Twitch subs. Stuff like that. All of the good stuff are on Discord. Uh, I love you all. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, subscribe, leave a like, all of that good stuff. Bye-bye.